Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to set up the LUA script on your Tyrannus. So what is the LUA script? The LUA script is a neat feature you can put on your Tyrannus that's, that lets you tune your PIDs right from your, your Tyrannus. Um, and if you're using the TBI, TBS Unify or the Emergen RC um, Tramp VTX, you can change your power output, uh, band, channel, and pit mode all from your Tyrannus. Um, this is super convenient because you don't need to lug around your, your computer just to tune your PIDs. You can just land, tweak your PIDs, and then take off again. Alright, so what, what do you need to be able to run this on your, on your Tyrannus? Um, you need to be running at least um, a Tyrannus firmware 2.2 and above. Uh, you need to be using a F3 or a, using a flight controller that's at least F3 and it has a spare UART port and you need to be using a FR Sky receiver that has a smart port wire like the X4R SB or the XSR. Okay, so um, first you gotta see what firmware you're running on your Tyrannus. So to do that, just hold menu from the main screen and then page down, page down page down to four wait uh, to five of nine and it shows you right here version 2.2.0 uh, mine's already on the the newest firmware because I just updated it but if you're not running at least 2.2 um, you have to flash your your uh, Tyrannus to the newest version so before you start flashing the Tyrannus, just make sure you make a backup of the, the models you want to keep in case anything goes wrong. You won't lose all your uh, the Tyrannus programming. Just um, from the main menu, hit model, and then just highlight the model that you want to back up. Press and hold enter, and then uh, hit enter for backup model. And then when you do that, it'll save this model in the models folder in your SD card inside. Alright, so first we need to download OpenTX Companion 2.2 on our computer. Uh, Open Companion is the program you use to flash your um, flash your, your Tyrannus. So first, just um, go to OpenTX. I'll have a link of all this on on the in the descriptions below, or just go to my website for everything. Scroll down and then go to uh, OpenTX 2.2. Scroll to the bottom. And then just download the version that, that's compatible with your computer. So I'm using a Mac, so I'm just going to download the Mac version. And then you'll need to download the, the SD card structure for 2.2 uh, because it uses different folders. So make sure you download the correct one for your transmitter again. Um, I'm using X90+, Plus, so I'll just download that one. Download. Close this. And then next, we'll just download the LUA scripts for the Tyrannus. Um, click here. And then make sure you're downloading the correct one for your transmitter again. I'm using the X9D. So I'll just download that one. And then once everything is downloaded, just go ahead and go and open up the folders. So first I'll open up the, the new SD card folders for the LUA script. So this is the new, new folders that will be on the SD card in your Tyrannus. And then I'm going to go ahead and move the files that I need. So um, open up the scripts um, file that you just downloaded. Drag this BF folder into the scripts folder here. And then you're going to open up the scripts here and then go down to telemetry. We'll open up the, this folder and then you'll click here and then just drag this BF -E, um, LUA script into this folder. So that's it for setting up the new folder structure. And then while you're in here, um, you can go ahead and um, add any sound files or anything that you want to have in your new. Uh, Tyrannus. Um, I've got this is my old folders, so you can see the the uh, folder structure is different. This is for I think 1.8 or something, and then this is the new 2.2. So I'm just gonna move some files that I had on my original Tyrannus. So once I have everything set up, 
um, uh, all the sounds will be there. So I'm going to keep my old intro sound. The way you do that is you go into the English folder and then you scroll down and then you move the your old sound into the systems folder and then you rename the the tada file as hello All right. Once you do, once you're done with that, you can um, get out of this folder. This your um, folders are pretty much set up. And then next, just install the OpenTX companion onto your computer. So let's open this. And just drag it into your applications. I'm using Mac. It might be different for Windows. So after you drag it, you should be able to go into your applications and then your OpenTX should be in here, right here. And then if you get this message, it's just a security warning, just ignore it and then go to your system preferences, security, just click open anyway, open. So in order to connect the Tranus to your computer, first you just have to put it in the bootloader mode. To do that, you just push the two horizontal trims towards the center of the transmitter and then turn it on at the same time. And then when it's saying that, just have your uh, USB connected to your computer and plug, it, plug the USB into the back and then plug this part into the computer. So once you get your Tyrannus connected to your computer, just go ahead and uh, click settings. And then over here, just make sure you have your the correct um, uh, transmitter uh, selected. So I'm using the X9D Plus. And then it's English menu, and then click LUA, and then uh, this different font. It's a little easier to read. And then um, if you're using the um, European version, you can click that firmware if you want. Usually you, you can just leave that. And then for the splash screen, if you want to change the, 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 the picture um, when your quad, for, or your, when your Tranus first opens up, this is where you do it. Um, you just select the image. And then I already have my regular um, Fly Club splash screen made. So the spec the requirements for the splash screen is that is that it has to be a bitmap BMP file format and it has to be less than uh, 212 by or actually the dimensions have to be 212 by 64 pixels. So this is the only place you can um, upload the image. You can't do it in the the Tyrannus. So if you want to do it, you have to do it here. And then for the XD structure. Um, just go ahead and select that folder that we downloaded earlier um, for the SD structure. And then make sure all this is right. This is mode 2 and RETA. And then you can go to settings. And then just make sure all the settings you have in here are selected for um, what you want. Uh, I'm just going to select this one. And then when you're done, click OK. And then next, click the download firmware, and then check for updates, and then just say yes, save, it's downloading, and then download firmware, save, oops, looks like I already had it, but I'm just going to replace it, and then once it's done, click OK. And then when you click this, it'll download all the settings and the firmware to your Tyrannus. Make sure everything is correct. And then write to TX. Done. So next you have to set up your quad to be able to run the LUA script. So if you're using the Tokyo build, the one that I showed you how to build last week, 
um, you don't have to do anything because the quad is already set up for um, the LUA script. Um, because we have the XSR down here on the bottom and here are the wires coming out. We have the um, white wire which is S bus, red is 5 volt power, black is ground and then not this yellow but this yellow coming from the XSR is the smart port wire and I have that hooked up to T5 which is UR5 so if you're using um, or if you're building a, a quad from scratch all you need is a F3 flight controller that has a spare UR port and then a smart wire port or I mean a smart port wire coming from um, your FR Sky receiver either XSR or the X4R SB so all you do is you just connect your um, receiver up like normal you know signal power ground and then you just take the smart port wire and connect it up to any spare your port um, and then you're pretty much set on the on the quad so this is all you have to do in your beta flight to configure it for the um, the LUA script so in the ports um, since I'm using the Lumineer Lux V2 with the XSR, this is how I have it configured. UR2 is a serial RX. And then you, the UR5, um, just select on the telemetry output. Just change that to smart port. Hit save and reboot. And then in the configurations, just scroll down here. And then just make sure you have the telemetry enabled. And then that's hit save and reboot. And that's pretty much all you have to do in... Um, in the beta flight. So once you have your beta flight configured for the LUI script, you can go to your Tyrannus. Gentlemen, welcome to flight one. Zero volts engine off. So if you get so if you did everything right, you should have all your models still in your Tyrannus and you and there'll be a new sound pack. Zero volts engine on. Engine off. Zero so to set up the PID screens, go menu and then page down. I'm going to go to page 14 of 14, which is the display screen. And this is the screens that you want to, sh the, to show. So on my screen one, I have my telemetry screen. So this is this screen right here. It's not showing anything because it's not plugged in. But I'll plug it in. So on this screen you can configure it to show whatever you want. I just have my timer which is my overall timer. This is my countdown countdown 2 minute timer. This is VFAS, my battery. 16.6 And then volts. this bat is my Tyrannus battery and then RSSI is 85 dB. RSSI. And then I'm going to set up a screen 2 for my PIDs. So I'm going to go down here to screen 2 and then hit enter select script and then select the BF script once you do that exit out when you push and hold page down go to your first first screen page down again and here's your PID screen so here's are your here's the first screen is your PIDs if you push menu it'll go to the rates and if you push menu again, it'll go to your VTX settings. So this is if you're running the, the TBS Unify or the Immersion RC Tramp. From here you can change the from here you can change the band channel power and even put it in pit mode. Since I'm not using a TBS or the tramp, I don't have this set, but you can go to my website and I'll show you how to do it all. And then um, page down, go into the um, Oops. Go into your PIDs and then to change your settings hit enter and then you can change whatever settings you want and then when you're done um, push and hold menu and it'll save the settings. So you go to save page and then it just saves your PIDs. Page down, exit out. So that's pretty much it for the PID tuning from your Tyrannus. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, go to my website, um, put a note in the comments, or just put a comment in the links below. So as always, hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe.